Eyewitness News 5 starts right now. Uh, dangerous too, AT. Flooding, yeah. power problems, yeah. wind damage. And it's summertime. You wouldn't think this stuff you don't would happen. It, yeah. No, but it can't. Severe weather can happen any time of the year. And this is the end result here. This is what happened to, on the northeast side of Mustang. We were showing you advantage Doppler HD doing some cut ins earlier this evening and talk about 60 mile per hour winds coming your way. Then they jumped up to 80 miles per hour. You want proof other than what you see with the naked eye there? Let's take a look at advantage Doppler HD. This is State Highway 152 between Sarah Road and North Morgan Road. This bright color of green here represents the velocity in the atmosphere, in other words, the winds. And we've pinpointed 73, 76, 80, almost 81 mile per hour winds in this small area of about a half mile by a half mile. And you saw what that turns into. That's why we do these things for you. We gotta let you know because, man, sometimes it can really tear stuff up. Well, let's take a look at uh, what is happening now in the bigger picture of things. Advantage Doppler HD is still showing some showers and storms out there, although the severe weather aspect of it has quite a just little white area you see pop up. That's what we call a wet microburst. It's when all the rain comes down, it kicks up the rain and curls up along with the dust, and it just comes in right over the city, right over the southwest sides of town, and we kind of get a glancing blow of that where we saw winds up around 48. Here it is again as it kind of rushes on through. The whole event lasted three minutes. That's how much warning, that's how much lead time you have to prepare on a microburst type situation. Here's a look at Predictor with rainfall tonight. Another hot one today. How hot was it, you ask? 107. Was it a record? No way. 1936, we hit 112. Today, we topped it out at 107. There are some clouds on the horizon as some storms build up to our north. Believe it or not, they are heading our way. Details on a much better forecast coming up. Our state record. And right now we are closing out our 12th straight day at 100 degrees or higher. Aaron, also some storms in the state tonight as well. Yeah, early we had some severe weather with the winds up to around 65 miles per hour, but that activity has calmed down and what has taken its place is rain and beneficial rain at that. Take a look at the movement on this activity from west to east across the northern half of Oklahoma. I want to show you something more impressive here. What's moving on into central sides of Oklahoma City actually coming right splitting us in half. It's this little line you see right here. This dark green line represents what we could basically call a little mini cold front. It's called an outflow boundary. It is dropping temperatures as it moves in. Plus, it acts as a battery to try to fire off more storms. We're going to hope for that to happen here as we continue on in later on this evening. As far as the strongest storms are concerned, they're up across northern Oklahoma. Movement on this activity is moving to the east. You might once again experience some wind gusting up to around, uh, say, 40, 45 miles per hour. Uh, we'll do a quick storm track on this to show you the leading edge of this line of wind rushing through Pond Creek right now. Moving to the east at 20. I'll take the Kremlin at 1022, Hunter 1045, Lamont 1052. Take a quick look at the highs today. 111 is what we hit earlier in Stillwater and in Bartlesville for the state's hot spots. We desperately need this rain. It is coming in just in the nick of time. Look at us doing the temperatures. It's 81 in Stillwater now. That's more than a 20 degree drop, almost a, the 30 degree drop there. Uh, Ponca City at 77 right now. Still here in Oklahoma City, 91. And even here in the metro, things are cooling down. Marshall 78, whereas Spencer is 94. Details on a much improved forecast coming up. All right, Aaron, thank you. The Aaron, the latest, Aaron. I hate to say too much of a good thing, but as promised, the rain fell. I fertilized just in time. I'm happy about that, but we're not happy about this. Take a look at the winds that accompanied the rainfall up to around 60 plus mile per hour winds at OCCC and at Quell Springs Malls for two of the hot spots out there across the uh, metro. So those are the two hardest hits. But also, if we take a look at what else is happening, you can talk about the rainfall totals. And there you can find out as much as an inch already coming in at Mathis Brothers and almost Quell Springs Mall, about half an inch coming up here at the Alive Weather Center, almost about an inch. We continue to add to those totals due to that light to moderate rainfall. Good news is for those not flooding, we still have more of that rain to come. For those that are flooding, unfortunately, it is still doing so. Rick. Circulation, so that puts that circulation in Yukon in two, about 17 minutes. There's two yes. mesocyclones with this particular storm, Rick. Uh, two areas of rotation. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to put a uh, storm tracker on the first one. That'll take in these... Uh, uh, areas of the city here for the next half hour and now I'm going to track it and put it on the one the old circulation that hit the airport back out to the west and there again different times for the different parts of the uh, city again two areas of circulation within this particular supercell thunderstorm uh, the one the new one is developing kind of right over that airport we talked about southwest Yukon okay and uh, <clears throat> to get more enhancement uh, developing in this area uh, right in this locale so I, I still expect this thing to have the potential to produce a tornado and the sad thing is, Rick, it's only been moving maybe about 15 miles per hour tops. I mean, it's still in Canadian County. I mean, I, it, it has moved very slowly. It has. And it still has to cross the metro. So the, the danger is not over. That's right. In fact, Sky 5 is just north of Mustang now with this storm.
Yeah, and uh, as we talked about, we may transition this over to heavy rain with still some hail mixed in. The good news is the tornado threat that we had earlier seems to have diminished. Hopefully, uh, that was because of the what happened when these uh, showers down to our southeast kind of moved in toward the south side of the metro. Well, that brought in a lot of rain-cooled air, and that rain-cooled air fed into the uh, heart of the storm, and it usually kills it. Uh, pretty good as far as tornadic potential goes, so that's the good news we've had so far, it looks like. All right, real quick, let's head up north. Uh, I want to see what's going there. on. Some history there, but talking about hundreds. Yeah, hundreds. Kind of another <laughs> string coming again. Oh, yeah, we're going to have for another one. Just but it's a, it's a mini one, so it won't last too long, but it's going to be here, and you're going to feel it. And once again, get prepared. Take a look what's going on with our weather headlines. The first yeah, thing we, we wish that we were hearing some storms and not <laughs> earthquakes. Right, the right. only rumbling we're hearing, A.T., is everybody complaining about our weather. Yeah. Right now. That in my stomach. It's, it's snack time. <laughs> you hungry? Right? It is late, I'm <laughs> it sure. Is late. Tell you what, we have had another hot day out there. Here in the metro, specifically on our exclusive live neighborhood network 105 here at the live weather Leaders center. say Work. they'll have to look over the issue That's even right. more and hope to vote on it soon. And it was a hot night if you were heading back to church yeah. this evening. We hit 102 today, Aaron. I know it. It's terrible. I it mean, is hot out there. Yeah, and luckily, though, you know, it can't stay like this forever. Right. So <laughs> summer's Maybe almost, October. You know, summer's <laughs> almost over. Kids are going back to school any week now. So, right. you know, that's a sign of some things to come. We did talk about the